life before the outbreak. It's something that doesn't seem real to me anymore. The memories in my head feel more like dreams, fevered delusions that exist only to push back the horror of what the world has truly become. Sometimes, when I close my eyes, I can almost imagine I'm there. Fishing trips with my dad, days at the park with friends, but it never lasts. I open my eyes. The warehouse is dark and quiet. Moonlight filters through a window high up, slanting down and illuminating debris that's been strewn across the floor. There are dark patches all over the concrete, and the smell of something rotten lingers in the air. I grip the flashlight and follow the trail of dried blood, making as little noise as possible. A little further on, I find the first body, or what's left of it. Most of the meat has been stripped off, and in the days since the attack, it's putrefied. As I approach, the smell gets much worse. Nearby, stairs lead up to an overseer's office, elevated well above the work floor. The windows are smashed, and the door has been snapped off its hinges. There's more blood on the steps. Dried splatters and streaks like a mosaic of carnage. This is where they ran to. This was the last stand. Survivors of EV9. Part 1. Available right now at patreon.com slash beyondthedark.